from No Reserve Heen, and we've decided at 10 o'clock at night to take off and head to Tuk Tuk Tuk. Is that Tuck. It? Tuck. They just call it Tuck. They just call it Tuck, and it has this big long name. But it's the Arctic Ocean and the Arctic Circle, and we're going to drive all the way there and drive all the way back. So we're just going to go up, put our hands or feet or whatever in the water, and then turn around and drive all the way back. We're, we're taking turns. We're going to take turns and take turns sleeping. We have pillows and extra clothes just in case we decide to get, if we do get tired, stay all night. And our biggest fear right now is the gas situation. So we have a full tank. So we think we should be good. So we'll figure that out as we go. Take the next right left here. onto Dempster right Highway, here. Yukon 5 North. Dempster Highway to the Arctic Ocean. We stopped at the Tombstone Interpretive Center here on the Dempster Highway. There was some furs that people had taken off animals. Um, there's some information desks there and some bones from uh, like uh, my moose head, uh, ram's head, and they had some outdoor privies if you wanted to go. But other than that, that was it. Yeah. The rangers, there's a couple of rangers posted there, and they have all kinds of informational guides. And you can, and there was people asking them, you know, like how far is it to Intuk, uh, the other one that where the Atlantic or the Arctic Ocean is, and they were very helpful. They also had some desk where people were look like they were doing research, so that you could research like around that area and stuff, and also. That's where you can make a uh, reservation. So there's a place to make reservations online for the campground that's two kilometers up, but you can also go in there and they have access to the system and you can get a, a reservation through them. Nope. Those are baby wolves. Those are baby wolves. Yep, where'd the other one go? Two zero right here. Yeah. Are you sure they're wolves? They got furry tails. I think they're wolves. I think they're foxes. You think they're foxes? Yeah, some sort of fox. I don't know. Their face looks like babies. I think they're some sort of fox. Some sort of silver fox, I think. I can't get it. Oh, he's almost posing for you. Yeah, that's definitely not what we've seen before. Uh-oh. Well, the trees have gone away. Still on the Dempster Highway, and we stopped at Eagle Crossing for gas, and they were out of gas. So we're heading on to Fort McPherson, which is which was about 200 kilometers up the road from Eagle Crossing, and we're hoping they have gas up here. If not, we don't have enough to even get back. Okay, we're on the uh, Dempster Highway still, and. We didn't know it, but it looks like there's a ferry crossing you have to take. Take the Dempster Highway, Ford McPherson NT Highway 8, NT Ferry. And hours of operation are from 9.30 and last trip is 12.30 to 12.45. Hmm. So 9.30. Boy, he just got on. Crap.
coming back? He's coming back. Is he? I think so. Well, maybe not. Yeah, he's coming back. For us? In 500 meters, continue straight onto Dempster Highway, Northwest Territories 8 North. Looks like he came back for us. <laughs> I would stop and let him. He may not have. <laughs> Just wait for their instructions. There he's hitting land. Ferry's got a little John boat for their emergency, it looks like. Am I gonna get instructions? Yep, he's telling you. Gotta yeah, go slow when you go across it because man, it's rough. Thanks, coach. Well, we just barely made the ferry. He had to come back for us, but at least they came back. Guys are wearing their bear spray and good news. They had gas. No restroom or washroom, but we got a full tank of gas. We also have an extra five liter or five gallon gas container in the back of the truck too. But uh, there's no way we would have made it. So hopefully on the way back we can stop here and get gas. A moose. We finally got a moose. We're coming to our second ferry ride. Our bees swarming all around our vehicle because we have so many, so much mud caked on it. And, and dead, dead bugs. bugs. Directing ya. Bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Continue for one kilometer. <laughs> <coughs> the GPS is gonna tell you how to get on the ferry. when you get off. But, but they're it, working but on it. But it's not that bad. Yeah, and they are physically working on it. The other side they were working on right now. But they got a pile of stuff up here that they're working on it too. Uh-huh. I mean, it's got a lot of big trucks coming. Yeah. That's the second fuel truck you've seen. Is that a fuel truck or a water truck? Uh, I think that's a water truck. No, no. They lay water down to keep the dust down on the road. Looks like a water truck. And it just makes your vehicle even muddier. It's not a bicyclist. <laughs> I said it's a horse. <laughs> it was a mama and baby. Now you gotta watch for a grizzly bear. Now you gotta watch for a grizzly bear. They can smell them. Two miles away. I was like, that ain't a bicyclist. <laughs> There's a sign saying which way to go. Huh? Yeah. 148 more kilometers. Is 
something like that. Well, we made it to Tuck. To Tuck. Tuck toy or something. Yeah. That boat we saw. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's a brand new. I've been in there very long. Little bumpy. Hospital. It's a baseball diamond. There's yeah. balls out there. It's a baseball field. Cemetery. They are right here. There was the Northern Star store. Cemetery? Yeah, right. If we keep going straight, we should come to the Atlantic. Not the Atlantic. Arctic Ocean sign. Somewhere around here is where we're supposed to park, and that's where the bathrooms are. Here's the bathroom. I think. think. Keep going. That says camping. Oh, and it's a campground. I think that is where we're supposed to park, though, isn't it? Camping. This is going up a little bit. We can always back up. I want the big Arctic Ocean sign. She said there's no parking where it is, though. Maybe you have to walk up to it. There's the bathroom up there. They're having a good time down there. Yeah. Where were they? There it is. Yep. And yeah. There's a plate. We're not supposed to drive all the way now. There's the barrier. Awesome! We made it to the Arctic Ocean. We're right in front of these guys. Horse flies. Okay, we made it here to the Arctic Ocean. Yay! We're here. We'll suck our hands in the Arctic Ocean. And then we're leaving Tuck. It's kind of the view, it's out here, it's kind of pretty in a way. Very bumpy road as you come into the uh, after you leave Innabook. From Innabook to Tuck is really bumpy. But the, the actual gift shop is just is a lot of handmade crafts. Get out of my truck. Sorry, big horse fly. Yeah, the town is full of horse flies. I guess every place around this water has them now. Well, this part of Canada right now is horse fly season. Blew the tire completely. I think Jim ran over something because it went <laughs> and left the air out. That ain't good. Oh, our first problem was trying to figure out how to get the spare out. What do you think, Jim? We know now how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, we sure as hell didn't before. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, the guy that owns the tire shop down here, somebody called him. He didn't even and he didn't know how, but we figured out how to get the spare tire out. Now he went down and got his jack. Here, right here, tire repairs, uh, garage and loader rentals. Keep going, Jim. Okay, it's going over there too. Yeah. yeah. Super, super nice guys if you're in this town. What's this town called? Mick something. Or McPherson, Fort, Fort McPherson. Fort McPherson. And then here's the phone number that they called to tell them that we were stuck there. But... Super nice guy. 
You want to explain what happened? So we were running to get gas here at Fort McPherson. We know there's a gas station here, so we got it this morning. But we turned down the wrong road. We noticed that we were on the wrong road. So we stopped. We backed into an empty lot. And an empty lot there, there must have been a piece of something that it gave had, us a flat it, tire. Yeah, it had, uh, I did see an old sign, like a, a road sign. And there must have been another one laying there because the the hole in it was perfect for the whatever these signs are. See that piece right there that the stop sign's held up with? You know what I'm talking about? The, yeah. Like that? And that's exactly what went into the tire. They helped us put another tire, put another tire on. Which and yeah, and he only charged us what, 100? 100 bucks for 100 bucks for all of it. So. And he gave us what he called an older tire, but it was in really good shape for a spare. So, super nice. If you have any problems and you're on this road, this road is notorious for carrying up tires. And the Yukon side is, roads are a side of it's even worse, which is what we're headed to. So we have to go one more ferry before midnight, and then we have to go on the Yukon Highway, but we will take it slow when there's rough spots. Our biggest concern for this whole trip up to the Arctic Circle and to the Arctic Ocean was fuel. We were really worried that we would run out and even today we're pushing it because the one place that you stop to get gas is only opened at a certain time. The other place is, what was it called? The first one? I can't think of the name. Uh, Eagle. Eagles, yeah. Eagle Creek. Crossing. Eagle Crossing was out of gas. But they might have it now. They may have it now. We don't know because the Klondike has been closed every day since we went through. Like they let one thing of cars through. So one pilot car will get through and then they close it right back down. And it was closed completely yesterday except for one. And today it says that it's completely closed. So fuel and stuff isn't moving either. So it's a chance. Now we have enough with, what, 40 kilometers according to our gauge, the spare, but we also have a five gallon and a one gallon tank in the back. So that was our biggest concern until we made a wrong turn, backed up into the weeds and hit the pole. So now we have a totally ruined tire on our new truck. So we have a, what's the spare they put on? Uh, Firestone. That's, it was Michelin. It was underneath the truck. Oh, our spare. They put yeah. our spare. Yeah, it was our spare. So our, sp our spare is a Michelin. Truck it full does, size. Full size. It doesn't exactly match the other three, but it, it's perfect. It'll, you know, we can take it to Alaska. Yeah. And then they gave us, well, we paid for it, a uh, good year, wasn't it? No, it's a, uh, yeah. Firestone. A Firestone something. something yeah. But it's equally the same size as yeah. what our other tires are. It's a used tire, but it's in really good shape. So it, it will work for a spare. It's like new. Like yeah, new it, it's, you know. But they called it, they had it in the back as one of their spares because they said this road just rips up tires. So our I guess now our decision to do is, to, and we get back to Dawson Creek, is to look to see if they have another one of our Goodyear tires. Is that what we have on the truck? Or do we just go ahead and go to Alaska with the two tires that we have? The one that's on the truck that's our spare, and we have a second spare, and then wait till we get to Alaska to, to uh, get the right tire to put on your so we'll have to figure that out. But we'll let you know before the end of the video. And if I haven't already said it, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, can you hit that like button? Uh, hit the subscribe if you haven't already and the notification. That was weird, they were in the room. Yeah. These are Sand Hill Cranes, and they were sitting in the middle of the Dempster Highway. 
see that right there? Fire is still burning. You seen this on the way up? Oh yeah. The blowout on the truck tire really was a freak accident. We're pretty sure that it was a street sign just by the measurements of the two big holes in the tire where it just totally sliced it. But as unfortunate as it was to have a blowout, it only delayed us an hour on our trip. The guys that we met that helped us fix it were super nice, so we met a couple of nice Canadians, everybody we've met here so far has been really nice. Yes. And if you look at it, it depends, you know, anything you want to look at, you can look at it in different ways. But the way we chose to look at it, it could have been a lot worse. We were actually really lucky that it hit the tire. If it would have been back just a little bit farther, it could have ripped off our muffler. And if it had back straight into it, we could have screwed up the bumper which then could have screwed up the hitch and being able to continue with our travels to Alaska. So we were very fortunate that it hit the tire and not something else on the brand new truck or put a hole in the side of the truck. You know, the truck's only two months old. So overall, we were actually pretty lucky that it was just the tire that it hit. And it did it right there where there's a tire repair site. Yeah, exactly, right <laughs> where there's a city which is few and far apart. Here there's only what, like four cities? Yeah. We've actually not even four cities, three cities and a little spot. And right next to the tire repair. place, repair place. So, I mean, you know, that's kind of what our name is, no worries, because if you worry about it, there's not a whole lot you can do about it. You just kind of got to go with the flow. And on another note, you had to see this truck. I'm going to show you a picture here in just a second of just how filthy our truck is. I call him Brutus. So Brutus is, you can't tell it's red. Right, here's the truck. That's what your vehicle will look like if you go up to Dempster. We even vent the uh, rock guard somehow. This is the car wash in Dawson City. It's, best one. it's the best one. That's just it. There's a nozzle, a spray, and it takes 10 lunas, which is $1 bill of coins. There's a sweeper. You have to walk through the mud to clean it. And there's no soap, so you better bring your own soap. Uh, she's not spotless, but at least we can tell it's red again. I wanted to give you a live update on the tire replacement for the truck that was blown out on the Dempster Highway. We went to Walmart first and they will not deliver a tire to the store. So you have to have an actual address to have it delivered to. So the next step was we went to the GMC Chevy dealer in Fairbanks and they don't have any tires to replace the one on the truck. They could order it, but it would take two weeks, and in two weeks we should be in Denali. So that wasn't going to work. Finally, on Friday, this is now Monday, Jim was able to find a Goodyear tire dealer in town that was willing to sell us one tire. They usually will not sell a single tire here. They only sell doubles, but he had an oddball number. So he was willing to sell us one tire. That one tire cost $427 up here in Alaska. It doesn't cost that quite that much down in the lower 48. But we were able to get a tire. We took it in Friday. And Jim is currently picking it up. It's Monday, the I believe the 8th of July. And he's picking up that tire. And we're going to put the spare back on the spare tire. And then Jim told him that the tire that we bought the used tire that if a veteran comes in or a military person comes in and needs a spare to please give it to a veteran or an active military because there are two an air force base and an army base here 
So we hope you enjoyed our video. Just an FYI, if you're thinking about going up the Dempster and your Class A or even your regular travel trailer, I would seriously think about leaving it overnight at the campground um, and not going up it. it. It is really rough on your vehicle. I mean, obviously we're not going to tell you not to, but just be aware the Yukon side is very, very rough. It's a shell road. And it is really hard on the tires and axles. So please be aware of that. And it's going to double the time that it tells you to get there if you take your, your vehicle up that road with a travel trailer or a motorhome. So just be aware of that. We're glad we did it. But we're really glad that we did not take the RV with us. So thanks again for watching. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And please give us a like if you like this video. And give us some comments if you've been up the uh, Dempster and if you took your own travel trailer up there or if you had any tire issues. Uh, we really appreciate the comments and the feedback that we get from our viewers. And if you have any comments on how making our videos better or getting more people to watch us, that would all be very helpful.